Apple unveiled an update for Siri at this year's WWDC. The whole thing is called Apple Intelligence and is supposed to be at least a small AI that can run both on the device and externally in the cloud, depending on how complex the voice commands are. If the AI is unable to handle the voice commands at some point, it will automatically connect to OpenAI and will only be able to respond to more complex requests. This immediately piqued my interest and I wondered what Apple Intelligence could contribute to improving smart home control. Currently, if you have played around with the HomePod, it is still relatively limited and most voice commands do not work at all. It starts with relatively simple requests, such as turning on the bedroom light. Often, one is not understood correctly and it ends up being quite embarrassing when you want to show your neighbor how great a voice controlled smart home can actually be. When you become a bit more complex and formulate multiple voice commands in one sentence, Siri completely gives up and you have to manually turn on your smart home devices. Now the time has come and Apple intelligence has been released at least as a beta and in English so I could no longer hold back. I installed the beta on my iPad and tested how Apple intelligence performs compared to my self-built voice assistant. So the question I want to answer in this video is, is Apple intelligence better than the Home Assistant OpenAI self-built alternative? And we will find out after the intro. As always, enjoy. Just a brief note about my setup. I equipped my iPad with the latest iOS version, switched my language to English, and created a US Apple Store account. This is currently still the only way to access Apple intelligence. The downside, of course, is that I had to execute the voice commands in English. Nevertheless, even though it is, of course, a beta, it is quite clear in which direction this is heading and what is currently possible with it, especially regarding smart home control, which is likely to be the most relevant aspect for most people here. This time, I skipped the voice assistant on the home assistant page and simply used my browser to get text outputs, as this allows me to display the responses here more easily. It is also important to mention that currently, at least in the Apple beta, the OpenAI connections are not functioning. This means that we are not comparing OpenAI versus OpenAI here, but are actually testing Apple intelligence, which can run mostly on the device itself, against the OpenAI assistance in conjunction with Home Assistant. Of course, I first asked relatively simple questions like, what is the current weather? What is the outside temperature? Asking simple questions like that and commands such as turn on the bedroom lamp worked flawlessly. However, I must say that I expect this at least from a smart home system. After that, I tackled some more complicated requests and tried to turn multiple devices on and off at the same time. So something like turn on the bedroom lamp and turn off the living room light, or how warm is it right now in the living room, and turn off the bedroom light. A brief addendum from the edit. I noticed that Apple Intelligence unfortunately did not execute the command quite correctly. However, Home Assistant also did not get everything right. Accordingly, I would give both a half point deduction because and this is what I hope for, that we will eventually reach a point with voice control where we can formulate completely normal sentences. For example, I often feel the need to have multiple things processed in a single voice command. 2001, just when I start recording, I want my normal light to be turned off, the studio lights to be turned on, and my blinds to be lowered. Of course, I could either build a helper or send the voice commands separately. However, it would be easiest if one had complete freedom in their combination possibilities and could simply talk to the voice assistant like a normal person, also being able to send multiple requests at the same time. These commands worked flawlessly under both the new Apple Intelligence and Home Assistant. Accordingly, hats off to Apple because this definitely wasn't possible before. But, and now it gets interesting, let's move on to category 3. This time I am incorporating conditions into my commands and want corresponding actions to be taken only if a different condition was met beforehand. For example, turn on the bedroom light when the bedroom TV is also on or activate the bedroom heating when the temperature is below 12 degrees. Unfortunately, Apple intelligence could not keep up with this. Home Assistant executed the command without any issues and carried it out directly. With Apple intelligence, I have to try multiple times in various ways because I often just get Google results displayed. This is something that is currently known when speaking with Siri, as various commands are often not understood, and a Google search is usually triggered immediately. I had exactly the same result with Apple Intelligence. I tried it with several combinations, but unfortunately, it did not lead to any significant outcome. So, what is the conclusion of this experiment? Anyone who has a device lying around and would like to try it out should definitely give it a go. I believe that Siri has become significantly better now than it was before. However, Anyone who envisions a voice assistant that can truly manage everything in the smart home will likely be somewhat disappointed. 
especially if they have previously experimented with the combination of Home Assistant and OpenAI, as this package is still truly unbeatable at the moment. If you find it too much effort to set up and program your own voice assistants, for those eager to flash, you can at least look forward to the release in September, as hopefully Apple Intelligence will land in Germany by then, since it will not be available in Europe at the time of release. And that's it for this short video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even found it helpful. If so, I would of course be very grateful for a rating. If you enjoyed this short experiment, please show it to me with a rating. If you have any questions about it, feel free to write them in the comments. And if you are intrigued now and feel like building your own voice assistant, then feel free to check out this video here. I have shown how to implement everything. And then I would say, see you again next week. Until then, take care and goodbye.